Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from salads, sandwiches, and chafing dish recipes of 1916, not to be confused with uh, salads, sandwiches, and chafing dish dainties published five years prior, we're going to be making the Virginia sandwich. Now, when I say Virginia sandwich, some things might come to mind naturally, like a ham or peanuts, and in this case there is peanuts, but there's also sardines. Yep, sardines, and we have to pound that together with ground peanuts. Now we're to add mayonnaise to hold it together sufficiently, quote unquote. Might need a little bit more. Then we put that on to rye bread. And sure, it looks like cat food, but does it taste like cat food? I won't know because I've never eaten cat food. Okay, let's give this Virginia sandwich a go. It's not horrible. I'm very much okay with sardines uh, from a can, boneless, skinless sardines. They're, they're not very far off from tuna. A little bit stinkier, but still tasty. The peanuts are interesting, bringing that in, and then the rye bread. Um, it definitely needs a little plussing up, though. I'm going to add some capers. Bring that nice pickly pop, contrast with the uh, fishiness and the nuttiness. Okay, let's give this Virginia sandwich plussed up with a little capers. A go. Yeah, so the uh, capers, bright, pickly pop, plays well with the mayonnaise, plays well with the uh, sardines, uh, even plays well with the uh, peanuts. And yes, I do like peanut butter and dill pickle sandwiches, so... This is a natural fit. Well, I gotta say the Virginia sandwich uh, was a bit of a surprise when I read the ingredients of what would be in a Virginia sandwich in 1916, but here we are. Uh, maybe there's a big sardine industry in Virginia at that time I didn't know about, but still, the original sandwich was not bad. Uh, it was just basically fish and nuts and mayonnaise. Eh, it was okay. I'm gonna give it a four and a half. Plus up with the capers, probably a five and a half. I'll finish it, but I don't think I'd make this again. I do think there's potential here to maybe do a recipe remix, so. Maybe stay tuned for that. All right, we're gonna have lunch. I'll see you tomorrow.